right. So we are going to discuss about quote, quote templates and contracts. So we are going to divide this video into two sections. The first one, let's talk about quote and quote templates. The second one, contracts and how we can track contracts. All right. So let's do it by example. We have an example here, but let's create our own example. So I'm going to go to my Trailhead Playground on the setup page here. So first I want to enable quotes. So before you can actually create quotes, let's enable quotes. So quote settings here, we have to enable it first. Now, where do we want to add it? Let's add it to the opportunity layout, okay? So you can do quotes on other um, objects like donation, grant. Uh, this is the layout of the opportunity, but we are going to just focus on the opportunity layout and hit save. So that's how you enable quotes. So now you can actually start creating a quote. So I'm going to go back to my sales app over here. Now, let's say I'm going to create a new opportunity. Now I'm going to make um, a new opportunity for Tesla. Tesla Inc. We have the Genset for Fremont facility. And then let's make a new quote. Um, Genset for Giga Factory Texas. All right. So close date is let's do 20, 2021, probably a year, October 1st. Stage is let's make a negotiation review. We are negotiating with Elon Musk. Let's make it 25 million, 25 million dollars. Probability is 90%. And then let's save it, okay? I'm gonna hit save. So we just created an opportunity for the Tesla Inc. account. Now, I want to create a quote, an actual quote of what um, we will be providing for Tesla for their uh, Gigafactory in Texas. So I'm going to click on the opportunity here. As you can see on the right side at the bottom here, we have quotes now. And let's create a new one, a new quote. So expiration date, let's give it until the end of the year for Tesla to decide. It's going to expire that. It's enable syncing. So it's going to bring the opportunity to the uh, no, the, the quote line item to the opportunity later. But let's quote this uh, one megawatt diesel gen set. Okay. And then the status is, is approved already. And then let's leave it simple for now i'm going to hit save now that is the quote okay so now this opportunity genset for gigafactory taxes we have a quote but not we don't have a quote line items yet the product itself so i want to add some quote line items okay so i'm going to click on the quote itself here so we don't have quote line items yet right so I'm going to add products to it and let's choose uh, Northwest. Okay. But do we have price book? Let's just for, for the sake of this example, I'm going to choose the, the, or the standard pricing. That's why. Uh, okay. Let's use standard pricing. And we have 1000 kilowatt or 2000 kilowatt, right? That's the biggest one we have. But this is gasoline. That's pretty lame. Well, for this particular example, 
that's okay. Uh, let's just diesel, diesel here. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. So that's 1000 um, kilowatt. We wanna make one, uh, one million, right? One megawatt. So we have a, we need to buy a thousand of this. <laughs> okay, a thousand of this discount maybe 50% because they're buying a thousand of that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. This is the quote line items. Now, so it's actually a hundred million dollars um, for Tesla to pay. Okay, so we have that. Now, let's go back. So quote basics, we have enable quotes. We have created a quote and then um, we have uh, the quote line item. We created that. So at this point, he selects the quote and he sees that the product from the opportunity appears as a line item. So let's see if it appears as a line item. Yeah, we, we have that. We want to sync it now, right? So we go to the quote and sync it to the opportunity line item. So if I go back here to my 1 million, uh, 1 megawatt diesel genset and I go to the quote. No, I don't see the sync yet here. Here, start sync. I'm going to sync there. Sync quote. Quote sync to opportunity. So now if we go back to the opportunity over here, we have the opportunity line item or the opportunity product, which is the genset diesel 1000 kilowatt, a thousand of them. So it's one megawatt, right? So sales price is that. So our detail of the opportunity is $50 million, right? So this is the expected revenue because it's still um, in, in negotiation. So it's 90% deal. Once it's closed one, we have 50 million revenue. So, okay, let's move on. Now I think we can create the PDF. Um, before we do that, we want to actually create a quote template first, okay? So quote template, basically for us to be able to generate a PDF and send that to Tesla for them to pay from their account receivable. Okay, or account, um, whatever, <laughs> I, don't, I don't exactly know the accounting term. Let's go to here and then templates. So we have quote templates here. We are going to enable quote templates. Actually, we are going to make a new one and we are going to call it no tax. Okay, and hit save there. All right, so now we, we have all of these details. I want to just take out the taxes here, here. Right, I'm gonna take out the tax. We got no tax. Total price, discount, subtotal. It looks cool. And uh, let's keep everything else as it is. So I'm just gonna hit save. Okay, no tax template. Now, if we go back, whoa, we're, we're switching to classic there. Back to lightning, please. I'm gonna close this out. And I'm gonna close this out. So I'm gonna refresh this opportunity. Go back to our trailhead first. So we have created the template and then, oh, we need to activate the template first. Did we activate that? Let's activate the template. Let's go back to setup here. And if I search for quote, template I want to activate that first no tax template okay and then we can actually use it so to actually create the PDF we go to the quote record and hit the create PDF button and choose the template okay so we should see no tax because we take out the tax column there all right let's go back to here 
And let's go to the quote. Even if you go to details, um, no, we have, we have, um, we can have contract here, but quote is on the related list. So let's go here at the bottom here, click on here. So now we can create the PDF from the no text template there. Oops, no, no text template and create PDF. Preview. So this is the preview we are going to send to Tesla Inc. The grand total would be $50 million and there is no tax. Okay, so you can save and email the quote or you can save it to quote. So I'm going to save to quote for now because we don't, we don't have any email for Tesla Inc. at the moment. So now the quote PDF is here, right? And you can view it here and there is one attachment as, as well generated. So that's how you create quotes and quote um, PDF. So that's pretty much it. And next we will be discussing contracts, but I would like to separate those on a separate video, but let's do the challenge for this particular trail. So the challenge is just covering about quotes. Let's do it while we're here. So create a quote um, to an opportunity. So we have enabled the quotes. So use opportunity edge installation and add this product. So I'm going to go to edge installation opportunity, which should already exist on your trailhead. That's like an out of the box installed by trailhead. I'm going to search all opportunities and then search edge installation there. There we go. I'm going to drill in to here. Now, what do we need to do in this opportunity? Add the product Gen Watt Diesel 1000 kilowatt 98,000 Gen Watt Diesel. So, wrong tab. I'm going to close that. I am going to add a product here. Gen Watt. Um, let's choose standard. Gen Watt Diesel 1000 kilowatt there. And we are going to have it a discount. Um, wait, why can't I move on here? Check the box there. There. Next, I just want one and we give them a discount. So it's going to be 98,000. 98,000. And that's it. Save. So we have one ninety-eight thousand. So the details should be ninety-eight thousand dollars now. What else do we need to do? So create a quote and name it diesel generation. So let's create a quote and set the expiration date of the quote. This is in the past. Will it allow it? I hope so, because we are now in 2020. This is an old trailhead. So let's create a quote on this opportunity. I hope it allows an expiration date in the past because that means this is already expired, right? So what is the date again? 3-31-2017. Boom and status. Does it tell us what status? In review. So status should be in review and we should save that. Oh no, this is invalid because it's 2017, right? So I don't know. I hope they are smart enough. I mean, the, the trailhead team, because this needs to be in the future, right? Oh, I think I was just typing it incorrectly. Let's hope. Um, it's just 2017. No, it's just a mistype. What date was it? 2017, March 31st. March 31st. Okay, I think it's going to take it. Save. Yes. So we are good there. We have an expiration date and we are good to go. 
Alright, so I'm going to take this point and I'll see you in the next video where we are going to discuss about the contracts. And check the point. I'll see you in the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! You've got a shiny new badge. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom